without breaking any bones. Normally, we have vision and proprioception that help us understand how we're moving relative to the world. But an ice skater is moving too quickly to be able to rely on those senses alone. Instead, we know that the vestibular system is absolutely crucial for giving us information about our movement relative to the world. However, there's one big limitation. The peripheral vestibular organs respond to two different types of movement in exactly the same manner. Rotating your head produces the same activity of the hair cells as actual movement through space. So the central nervous system is assigned to figure out which type of movement is actually occurring. Without doing that, everyday movements like walking or getting out of bed in the morning would be absolutely impossible. I'm trying to answer that question by using two different genetic mouse lines that have silenced a certain part of the neural circuit that dissociates these two types of movements. In particular, I've used uh, a pre-recombinase to silence Purkinje cell output so that cerebellar output is no longer influential in uh, the self processing of self-motion. Answering whether this circuit is necessary for distinguishing linear motion from angular acceleration could help uncover causes of common vestibular dysfunctions like vertigo or nausea. In addition, um, it could help you know, people like you or I be able to figure out how to ice skate a little bit better. <laughs>